Hey, what's going on everybody? On today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add special effects into your World at War custom zombies map. Now, first thing you want to do is open up UGX Script Placer 2.0 or 2.0.1, you know, as long as it's over 2.0, any version's fine. You know, you want to name your map for this tutorial, we're going to call it SFX. Now, you can name that whatever you want. So I've already called it SFX. I'm clicking on blank map. And of course you want to check this little area right over here where it says include UGX, easy FX. So click on that, hit generate. It already generated the files for us. Okay, now that we made the files for the script placer, we're gonna open up Radiant, hit file, hit open. And we're gonna go over to SFX. There it is. We're going to open up the dot map. And it's blank. All right, so uh, let's make a room. There we go. All right, let me change up the textures real quick. There we go. All right, let me put some lights in so we can see the effects. Put one right here. Move that up. Put one there. One here. One over here. And one over here. All right, now we're going to need a character to spawn in. Info. Clear, start. I'm going to have them facing this way. And now, now that we've already set up the scripts with the UGX script placer, I'm going to go to my prefabs. I have a custom prefab that's going to help me add effects. So I'm going to go over to my prefabs. Going to Uptown's prefabs, and here it is UGX FX drop. Click on that, and there it is. Now, this is going to be where our FX is going to show up in the game. I'm going to put that right in the middle. I'm going to drop it down just a little bit. There we go. Now, I'm going to press. Since this is a struct, I'm not sure if I should stamp it. I'm going to do it anyway. Click on that. Now, I'm going to press N for entity. Now, I've already added the scripts, or at least the, the keys and values for it. Now, the only one we're going to change is where it says FX name. You're going to add the name of the effects that you want to use. Now, by default, there are some effects already added. So, we're going to go and check that out right now. So, I'm going to go over to my uh, World at War root folder. I'm going to go over to Mods. And I'm going over to SFX. That's the folder. Go into Maps. And here it is, UGX Easy FX. So I'm going to double click on that. You know, over here it describes on how to add the effects. You know, but it's already done for us. We've already added the, the struct that the effects is going to show up on. And now we just have to pick an effects. Now, automatically, once you already... Uh, use the UGX script placer, easy effects. It adds some effects already in the files. So either you could use, these are fire, so you can use fire one, two, three, four, five, and six. Or else there's smoke, explosion, light ray, electrical. Now these are already set up because they're uh, default in the, in the script files right now. Now you can add your own, but uh, you know we're gonna check out one of the ones that's already made for us. So I'm gonna copy that name, Fire One. I'm gonna go over to the struct, hit N for entity. You know you want to have it selected, where it says FX name. Click on that, and it's gonna show up over here. Change the name to 
what we copied, fire one, hit enter. Now the name is changed. Press N to get rid of that. Hit escape. We're gonna hit save. And that's pretty much it. Now we're just gonna compile the map and see how it went. All right, now that we've already added the effects in Radiant into our dot map, the one that we created on the UGX script placer, you know, now we're gonna open up Launcher. You're gonna build the mod, have SFX, that's the name of the map, first two checked, and then hit build mod. There we go, mod is built. We're gonna build the patch, SFX, have SFX highlighted, and click on build fast files. There we go. And now we're gonna compile the map. SFX, compile BSP, compile lights, connect paths, compile reflections, and build fast files. And we're also gonna click on run map after compile. So we'll click on that. Just gonna put the files together. And let's see how it came out. Just give it a few seconds. Out. Let's get turned back on. Hoorah. And there you have it, guys. That's how you add effects into your map. Now, in the next video, I'll show you guys how to add specific effects into your map. But for now, mess around with it, get used to it, add all different types of effects that are in the list. And I should see you in the next video. If you like it, hit that like button and subscribe for future content. Be safe, fellas.